Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to learn what does HTTP response consist of. Let's begin. The HTTP response is a complex structure. And if we would want to learn everything about it, it will take a lot of time. But to be able to run some basic tests of REST API, we don't need to know everything. As we discussed before, the client's request looks something like this. And the server response looks something like this. The client's request we have discussed in a previous video. And if we will look closely at the server response, we will find two key elements of HTTP response. The status code and the response body. Let's start from the response code. This time definition is long, so we will talk about separate sentences. The status code is the three-digit integer. The first digit of the status code defines its class. Let's check our Postman response again. As you see, there is a status value, and it equals 200. OK. And it's set in the definition. The status code is the three-digit integer. And we see three digit, two, zero, zero. The second part of the definition says the first digit of the status code defines its class. And in our case, the first digit is two. Let's check to which of the classes it's related. And we have five classes of response codes. Informational, successful, redirection, client error, a server error. And again, we will have separate detailed videos about the response codes. And a lot of videos of testing those. So we will check the 200 response code for now. It means it is successful. The request was successfully received, understood and accepted. Let's check a more detailed explanation. The definition says that response code consists of a numeric status code, such as 200. First part is a numeric status code 200. That is exactly what we got in Postman. And the second part is an attextual reason phrase such as OK, and again exactly the same we got. There are a lot of response codes, and we are going to have a separate video about each of them. For now, let's check the description of the 200 OK response code. And we are interested in this line in a GET request. The response will contain an entity corresponding to the request's resource. It leads us to the second part of the response, the response body. Let's check the response in the postman one more time. As you see, the body is present here and it is the HTML code of the page with LA map. Postman is not the browser, because of it, it has trouble rendering the hypertext documents. Let's check the browser instead. When we enter the same URL into the browser address bar, we see a different picture. We see the Google website with the Los Angeles map. We see some images of the places and a lot of other data. And if you will check the dev console, you can see how many requests for those resources were sent by the browser. And you can see the response code here. And the resource type, images and HTML are the same as we saw in the postman. The browser made a user-friendly representation of the data for you. And again, we skip some important details for now like response cookies and response headers, as we skipped a lot of response codes. All of this will have separate long videos and exercises in the future. For this video, a general understanding of the response code and the response body is enough. And in the next video, we're going to summarize what we have learned about the HTTP request response flow. See you there. Thank you for watching. If you like coffee or a coffee shop, leave a thumbs up, if not thumbs down. See you in the next video.